what's up you guys welcome back to my channel I got contacted by ButcherBox yeah. if you guys don't know it is a subscription service for meat I know amazing so they went ahead and sent me the box I already opened it and I've already tried a filet mignon I only go to one steakhouse when Ryan and I go out to eat steak and it's Pinnacle Peaks and it is a delicious steakhouse but if I can get quality steak in a box sent to my house and I can just barbecue it but being grass fed so even better quality then I'm like so this video is going to be in a couple parts I have the unboxing and then I actually cooked up a couple steaks and I wanted to show you guys the quality of that and it was so good okay now that we have established how good and delicious this meat is let's jump on into the unboxing when you go ahead and order this online you're going to choose from a mix of their meats they have beef chicken and pork or you can like customize your own if you just want chicken or beef or like you know a mix of the two if you don't eat pork and that sort of thing and then it's delivered to your door oh my beautiful nails thank you aurora it is packaged in dry ice and there's instructions on how to like discard of that and it also has a packing slip sticker on the inside that tells you exactly what you're going to be expecting to be in your box so everything was packaged really nicely. I didn't have any problems with anything leaking or anything. But first we have some no sugar added uncured smoked bacon. It has no nitrates or nitrites. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really looking forward to that one. We also have some strip loin steak. And this again is grass fed and grass finished and it's not gamey at all. It was so delicious once I chipped away at all of that charcoal that was on it. I know it was really, really sad. But the first one I tried was this filet mignon. I was kind of like seeing that ribbon of fat right there. I was thinking that looked a little tough. But when I thought them out, which I took them out of the box and I just put them in the refrigerator overnight, about a day and a half, and they were totally fine. You could also run it under cool water, uh, run cool water over it to thaw them out. See, this is the one I was thinking would be a little bit tough. So I wanted to show you guys the texture of these steaks. The other one is super, super, super just falling apart, tender. This one felt a little more firm. So I'm just gonna roll them around in pink Himalayan sea salt and cracked black pepper and kind of keep the flavors simple. But just look at that, just falling right apart. So let me put that back together and I'm just gonna grill these on my barbecue about five minutes per side. And I was hoping for a medium, but I got a medium well, which is totally fine with me. I let it sit on the counter for about 10 minutes just so the juices can go back. Uh, so when I was to cut it, it wouldn't leak all over the board. But I tasted it and it was amazing. I totally loved it. It wasn't gamey. I've had grass-fed beef once and I didn't like it, so I literally never had it again until my butcher box was sent to me and it was amazing. So thumbs up on the filet for sure. Next up we have these boneless pork loin chops and they're really thick and delicious looking and I was really happy to hear about the humane practices that these farmers use because I don't know I just I just love people that treat animals well moving on we have some ground beef the ground beef I've had previously was gamey like I said before but this ground beef was super good here is a burger patty right there it's some buffalo sauce some avocado on the side sauteed mushrooms and onion and this chicken didn't taste off or anything at all it's organic and this was boneless skinless chicken breast and it was just under three pounds and we have some grass-fed beef ribeye steak grass-fed and grass finished I just put some salt and some pepper on it. I've never been into ribeyes, but I pretty much demolished that one and had it with some broccoli and butter. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.